Hey everybody, this is going to be a walk around video of our campsite in Bahia Honda State Park. It's a beautiful day, it's hot, and as you can see we're right on the water, put our kayaks in right there. The rest of the group is out there kayak fishing right now. We're going to start with this 2016 TRD off-road. Uh, on the front, the only thing I've really added are uh, yellow lens covers. On the back we have a brute force bed cage. It's uh, pretty nice, it actually bolts to the uh, the bolts that go through the bed into the frame. Um, on this side, as you can see, I got a gas and a water roto packs. On the inside, I have a high lift jack. And on this side, I have a four and a half foot by six foot awning. In the bed, I have a uh, Smitty built locking cabinet. I pretty much keep recovery gear in here, as you can see, just some some shackles, uh, I have a snatch block, a strap, jack, four-way bar, and uh, some Lucy lights that should be in the sunlight. Other than that, dividing the bed, there's a factory uh, bed divider. On the rear, I have a bodyguard rear bumper. It's over the top, it is strong like an ox. Now for the fun part, this trailer always uh, brings a lot of questions, so I'm gonna try and go over it. This is built by a, a guy named Bob in Orlando. He custom builds trailers. You just tell him what you want, draw a picture or something, and uh, he comes up with it, and he's very reasonable. Starting at the front, there's a roll and lock hitch. That is an awesome hitch, uh, articulates very well off-road. Dual propane tanks. On the next trailer that I build later this year, I'm just gonna use one, two is kinda over the top. That's a lot of propane. Um, this is kind of just an accident. We're not going to talk about that. Alcohol might have been involved, but I ripped off the uh, old jack and had to put a new one on over here. Uh, roto packs, very handy, mounted in the front. Looking at the side, I have an LED light. It's very bright at nighttime. Comes in very handy when you're trying to set up, or even if you're just trying to find a campsite at nighttime, you can just drive with those lights on, and it lights up all the area on the side as well as just for uh, sitting at the picnic table cooking. It's not too bright where you just can't look at it, but it's bright enough where you don't need a flashlight or anything extra. Uh, nice door on this side, tinted windows. It slides open, there's a screen door behind it. Over here on my makeshift clothesline, I have a shovel and an ax mounted. Down here are some nice metal fenders and some Jeep rims with some BFG all-terrain tires. And this little thing right here, is for power. If I'm at a campsite that has power, I can run power to this and power my trailer. Or if I'm at the house and uh, not getting a lot of solar that day, I can always plug it in and keep the battery topped off. Okay, looking in the back, uh, it's kind of messy, but we're out here camping and having fun, so that's to be expected. I have an ARB refrigerator. It runs 100% off solar power. Uh, I have a box of just camping gear and food. And then uh, down here is just kitchen stuff and just random camping stuff that I might need. Uh, as you see, it's Florida, it's about 93 degrees outside, we have tons of liquids, some chips, let's get to the good stuff back here. This is a PowerMax power charger. Uh, this actually goes to the line that I showed you outside, right there. This right here is what keeps this battery charged. This battery came from eBay, and it's 100 amp hours, and right there is a, I think a 1000 watt power inverter. Right here I have a uh, USB. This powers the refrigerator. This powers devices and phones and a Bluetooth speaker for music and everything. So the refrigerator, charging all the devices, the Bluetooth speaker, all that runs off that 100 amp hour battery, which is run off the solar panel that's on the roof. Now, today when I woke up, this battery was at about 68%. And let's see what it's at now charging for a couple hours in the sunlight we are at 75 percent looking on top of the camper I have a fantastic fan it's closed right now I should probably open it vent it that right there is a hundred watt Renogy solar panel that little yellow thing right there is another Lucy light just sitting up there trying to get charged by the Sun uh, this little solar panel right here goes to solar Christmas lights and I have those all around the awning and at nighttime it lights up. This is an Eno double nest hammock trying to dry out right there in the sun. But there's another picture of the awning. Looking inside the camper, 
nothing special. We have a little fan right here. I don't have air conditioning in here yet. Um, on the back wall, we have two cabinets for clothes, a nice dividing wall between this and the back storage area. This is a full-size mattress, so it's a pretty decent size sleeping area. Looking at this side of the trailer, it's pretty bare. I had an outdoor shower mounted here, but I took that off and I will be replacing that with an outdoor kitchen. So this whole side's gonna be one big kitchen. Uh, light above the door, same door, tinted windows, screen. And on this side, I have an awning. Just like the other side, I have an awning as well on this side. And this awning is eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet. And they cost just under $130 on eBay a piece. I've been using them for about six months. And so far there's been no tears, no rips or anything. As far as cooking, we use this Timbo Tusk probably 80% of the time. It's really easy to cook on. Very expensive, overpriced for many, but I mean, it's fun to cook on. So I don't know. I can save money on some things and throw a lot of money towards some things. It's just one of those things. You either, you either want one or you don't. This is a 95 and a half Toyota Tacoma. Nice bed rack and it's uh, easy to transport the kayaks on top. Here's some nice Plano uh, Sportsman trunks. They come from Academy. They're pretty cheap. I'm probably going to be replacing the Smitty Built box that's in the back of that truck and just buying two or three of these. Mounted on the truck is a Tough Stuff awning. Eight and a half feet by six and a half feet. This is the Tough Stuff brand shelter room. It's very easy to set up. It just clips to the bars. It kind of looks disfigured only because I left a part at the house that connects this to the channel on the awning so it kind of looks it kind of looks sorry but uh we'll just peek inside fits a huge air mattress you can stand up and change even if you're six and a half feet tall nice big windows let breezes in i recommend it i've camped in there nicole and i've camped in there a few times as well and that is it for just a little walk around video of the camper and the campsite if you have any questions or want to know about any products or how much stuff costs Leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to answer it. Thanks for watching.